the problem currently with our NIC system, um, or, well, it has a few problems, but one of the problems is that the way that we've set this up, the code that we have entered into NIC is never ending. So currently, if we turn NIC on, which we obviously want to do, he is going to just continue to build an, uh, the, you know, the multi-block and make ender pearls forever and ever and ever, even once we get too many ender pearls, like even once this, uh, even once his cache upstairs is full, he is going to continue to make ender pearls um, and eventually they're just going to start to spew over the floor and it's going to become a big mess and it's going to be bad, right? I don't envision that happening really anytime soon. You know, I don't think we're too close to the, uh, the 20,000 ender pearls that would fill this cache. And then of course, uh, we could, if we wanted to make more upgrade kits and like upgrade the capacity of this to multiple hundreds of thousands of, of ender pearls. But um, I think what we should probably do is set things up in such a way that we can toggle when Nick makes ender pearls. And ideally, I think we want to set it up in such a way that once we get to a certain number of ender pearls, we can, you know, tell Nick to stop. We can have him kind of just, you know, cut it out. Now, unfortunately, that does mean that we kind of have to rebuild Nick because the current Nick that we have is not quite up to the task, right? Uh, and what I mean by that is that uh, he currently cannot interpret redstone signals. He doesn't have the uh, the ability to do so. Uh, if we want to give Nick the ability to interpret redstone signals, uh, he needs the uh, redstone card, this one right here, uh, inserted into him. Now, I could be wrong, but I don't think that there is a way to edit a robot once it's been made. Please let me know if I'm wrong about that, chat, but I think we are going to have to make a fresh robot from the start, uh, this time inserting the redstone card into it. But uh, hopefully what we can do is we can grab a detector from refined storage. Uh, this thing is fairly easy to make. And what this does is it outputs a redstone signal um, when you have more than a, a, specific, a specified amount of a certain item in your refined storage system. So the plan here, chat, is to probably do away with the cache that we have here. I'm probably gonna get rid of this enderpearl cache and instead have all of the enderpearls uh, go directly into the uh, the disk drives here and then set Nick up so that once we have maybe like a stack of enderpearls, he stops. Because I don't really think we need, you know, hundreds or even thousands of, of enderpearls in the system. I think a stack of enderpearls at any given time is, is gonna be more than enough. First things first, we need a, a computer case. Now, unlike the first robot that we made this time around we are going to have to use a tier 2 computer case here simply due to the fact that there's not enough space in the initial computer case to have both a graphics card and a redstone card so if we are going to get a tier 2 nick we have to upgrade uh, to the tier 2 case here and uh, thankfully we do have everything it takes to make that uh, you'll see on the right hand side there are two slots for i guess like pcie cards and uh previously we had one slot used for the graphics card if we want to install both a graphics card and a redstone card, we need a tier two case. Everything else is gonna be pretty much the same. And I do think, Chen, actually, before I make these, uh, they were probably gonna make two more of them because you may notice that there is now a, a roof in this room. And that is because another thing that I want to work on today is I want to set up, I want to basically duplicate this setup that we have down here, but instead of making ender pearls, I want to automate the making of machine wall because once we have both ender pearls and machine wall, it then becomes significantly easier for us to automate the crafting of, for example, normal compact machines, right? At that point, we can make essentially as many seven by seven by seven compact machines as we like. We can then look into automating the crafting of the nine by nine machines, and then hopefully get to the point where we can make our very first uh, 11 by 11 machine. And then of course, eventually, right at the end of the pack, make hopefully a 13 by 13 machine. But for today, at least, I do want to try and, and get some more automation up and running. And to do that, we are going to need two copies of Nick, hopefully both of which have uh, the redstone upgrade. So I'm going to go and make both uh, right now, hopefully. So let's go make another computer case, actually, before I forget. Again, I think we should have everything we need. We do indeed. And then CPU-wise, we're going to take two of the original ones. Um, I'm actually not quite sure why you would need a higher tier of CPU. I assume at some point, like, a, a program might become too complex to uh, to run on, like, the base Intel seller one that they give us here. But... um. As of yet, in my testing, I have not found that uh, a higher tier of CPU is needed. You know, I think we have enough cores, enough gigahertz, <laughs> for the time being at least. Uh, graphics card, shouldn't be too bad, we need some memory. Uh, we are gonna need like quite a bit of this. We're gonna need at least four if we're gonna make the, um, oh, we need more PCBs, eh? Look at that, boom, ready to go. What else do we need here? We need more microchips. Again, should not be a problem. And then we need more of these. More of the base cards. And then two of those. As well as three more memory. There we go. Um, all right, what else are we missing, chat? We're missing two hard drives, two 
BIOS cards, and then we're missing like keyboards. Oh my goodness, there's so much stuff required, guys. There's so much stuff required. Uh, we need two BIOS cards. Don't forget, these do have to be upgraded uh, into the uh, Lua BIOS, not just the default BIOS. So that is something we do need to bear in mind. I'll make a few redstone torches here again. We use those quite often, and we have an absolute whack ton of, uh, of redstone. So making more of it, not necessarily going to be an issue for us. And then do we have everything it takes? We do indeed. And I don't think the open computer's manual is going to be too hard to make. Do we? Yes. Uh, unfortunately, it is used in the crafting recipe. I was hoping for a brief second that it might not be. Um, alas, that is not the case. And in fact, we are going to have to make uh, yet more leather. Now, before I make more leather chat, I do want to try something that people recommended to me in the Twitch chat. And that is using uh, the reservoir from Thermal Expansion. This guy right here. Because I believe that the idea with this is that you can fill this up uh, the basic tier, at least, with up to 10,000 millibuckets. Uh, the capacity does increase as you go up, you know, all the way up to 250,000 millibuckets if you get the, the highest tier. But I believe the idea with this is that we can fill it up with 10 buckets of water and then use it essentially 10 times in a craft that would normally use water, right? So if I go ahead and fill that up, that gets us 4,800 buckets. So, for example, if I wanted more paper, can I do this i totally can so now instead of having to get a bucket fill it up craft it fill it up craft it fill it up craft it over and over and over again instead what we can do now is we can just craft multiple times until the reservoir actually runs out of water which is super nice and it's probably worth us uh upgrading you know to uh, a reinforced one i'm oh, sorry a hardened one even and then a reinforced one like so and then uh, we can't quite make the next tier because we still don't have a uh, signal and nod we have what it takes to make blizz powder but uh, that does give us uh, 90 thousand millibuckets uh, worth of storage therefore you know essentially 90 buckets that we can use there which is very nice indeed uh, can't you do that with the portable tank too oh you mean like this guy here i would assume you could probably do that yeah i'm actually not sure though i think we can fill this up over here excuse me again <laughs> every time i don't know if you can oh gosh i did also by the way between streams remake the uh, the ball on spaxel host so the uh this like whole system is back online again and uh making wood which is very nice indeed because i think we are going to need uh, some more diamond nuggets today which is why we need more coal coke and uh, therefore more wood so uh, hopefully this is all gonna come together nicely um oh that's working nice okay let's uh let's fill this up a bit chat so I think now, chat, finally, uh, we have everything. So it's essentially the exact same computer as before, but this time with a, uh, a redstone card. So that is our computer taken care of. It is going to take two and a half minutes, unfortunately, to uh, to produce that. And then we are going to have to do the same thing again uh, for the next one there, but that's fine. While that does that, um, what I would like to do here is, uh, do we have a spare cache? We do indeed. So I think, chat, my plan here is to put another cash and by cash i of course mean strong box let me go grab a strong box here real quick basically next to the pre-existing strong boxes and also i do need to make another charger as well a charging station so that we can actually uh, charge the second robot that we make that for now at least is being loosely dubbed nick 2 but uh, in here nope once again i need a, a strong box chat hold up There we go. <laughs> All right, so I'm thinking, chat, in here, I'm gonna have another strong box right about there. And this is going to be the strong box for iron blocks, because if we're gonna automate uh, the, produ uh, the production of machine wall, all we need for this craft is two redstone, one to put in the actual multi-block, and then one to throw down at the end, and then one block of iron. Redstone we already have in here. And so instead of exporting redstone again for the other robot, what I think I'm going to do, chat, is I'm gonna put a hole in the roof right about there and i'm gonna have our robot basically come down to get what it needs and then go back up to build it on that upper level uh, i think that's gonna work out just fine there are some other holes in the roof the reason that there are holes right here is because this is where uh, nick one comes up to drop the redstone so he does have to come a little high up uh, to make that happen but essentially i'm thinking of putting my charger right about here uh, we do need to put a lever on that but that's fine and then our next robot is going to sit right in front of that charger now on top of that, if we are going to duplicate this system, we of course need four more of these miniaturization field projectors. And I don't think at the moment we currently have what it takes to make that. We don't. We don't have any diamond nuggets left. And so once again, chat, it's time that we make some TNT, which, yeah, again, that was quite optimistic. We definitely do have the uh, the sulfur for it. The only thing we seem to be missing here is the, uh, the nitre. But uh, as always, we can take some of our 20,000 sand and then just run that through the crusher which is now 
easier than ever to do because we have this uh, little automated system. So we can throw that in there and we should get some nitre in here fairly soon. Um, but whilst we wait for that to finish, let's grab the cock. The cock, of course, has to be uh, crushed. Gosh, it's been so long. Yes, so we're going to crush our cock, and then we're going to squeeze it and then we're going to smelt it and then we're going to blow it up. Yes, okay. That's very doable. Very doable. So we'll throw all this in here. We do, of course, uh, want to craft this into a block form uh, first so that we can crush it nice and fast. And I'm going to put that ahead of the nighter just so we can get that uh, get that going. Do you have the resources to craft elevators so you don't have to use those ladders? Um, I do. The only reason that I've not used elevators thus far is due to the fact that I can't embed them in the ground. Right, like you have to put them one block up, so I'd have to jump on the elevator and then jump up, which I guess is not like it's such a small issue. That's not an issue at all. Uh, but you know what? Sure. While we're waiting for our cook to uh, to smelt up, let's try elevators, because we now not only have a way to make it, you know, with the machine casing, which I think we'll definitely do. There's no reason for us to waste our ender pearls um, unnecessarily. But uh, let's give this a try. Annoyingly, we are one piece of wool there away unless we already had some in the system of course we didn't that'd be too easy isaac do we have more industrial hemp fiber we do good stuff let's make another wool and then let's make our second elevator shall we am i losing my mind chat Ella. oh yeah i am there we go <laughs> all right so i guess what we could do with this is we could have one potentially like right here especially now that we have nothing on the lower floor right it's not super long distance But we could have this, like, <laughs> you know, you, you know what I mean. Like, it's it's such a, it's not, it's not, it's 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 fine actually. I think it is faster than the ladder, like for sure. Despite the fact that it's a little janky, it would be obviously perfect if I could put this in the floor as you normally would. But given that we can't break the compact machine wall, um, I think this is kind of the ne the next best thing that we can do there. I like it. Put slabs around it. Ooh, yes, we totally could do that, right? Again, it starts to get a little busy down here, and we couldn't do it before because we had the miniaturization field down there, but um. Now that we've moved that, we totally could have just slabs around the bottom. And it's not like we're going to put anything here anyway in the middle, right? So, yeah, I can I can get behind this. This is fine. It is very messy down here, but I think that's kind of just part of the course with, uh, with a pack like this. Uh, before we forget, let's also uh, take Kodos and let's uh, start making the next robot. Which, again, is basically just everything here. So screen goes up there, disk drive goes down there, inventory upgrade up there, hard drive in there. I think that's the same as before, Chet. Okay, let's assemble that. All right, 31 hop graphite dust. So as is tradition, I'm going to do it not out here in the bedrock area. And also I should change my, I'm going to put my spawn point like here on the elevator for now, I think. But instead in here, uh, not in here, in here, here it is. So, uh, ooh, I can do this here, right, Chet? Like, if I do this, this, and this, like, this is not going to blow up my crusher, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm fairly certain it's not going to. Peek around the corner there. Beautiful. Two? <laughs> I feel like we get so unlucky with these. Approximately one in, like, seven should get you a nugget. And we got, we should get, like, five there. We got two. Gosh, dang it. <laughs> Either way, luckily for us, we only need two to actually get uh, the second round of uh, miniaturization going. So uh, we can go ahead and do this. It's true we did only need two, but jeez. He still uses the ladder? I need to get used to it, chat. I need to get used to using the um, the elevator here. But uh, either way, first things first. Before we do any of this, uh, let me head up to my anvil, and we'll go ahead and name this Nick 2.0. Beautiful. Then... Over in here, we're going to retire the original Nick, and we're going to put down the new Nick, right? Now, let's go and get, uh, also, let's not forget that I do have to orient him correctly. He has to be down like that, with his uh, his chest to the back there. Now, we do, of course, need the detector from refined storage, which, thankfully, does not require any diamonds. That's uh, very nice of it. Uh, so we should have, I think, pretty much everything it takes here. I'm going to make a stack of redstone torches because we've got so much wood 
and so many torches and I'll replenish my sticks as well just so future Isaac doesn't have to do as much crafting let's get two of you and then hopefully fairly easily you know I'm also gonna make like a ton of these we might need more string but I'm gonna make like a stack of porcelain clay wait oh no of course okay <laughs> okay again to save future Isaac some effort here chat I'm gonna head on through to our new combat machine which is this one I'm gonna grab some bone meal from there, some clay from there, which I will craft down into, craft some of it down at least into uh, into ball form. And then we could also go and grab some hemp fiber from our farming cube. All of these cubes, like <laughs> we've gotten to a point where so many of my cubes are seven by seven cubes that I'm getting confused as to which cube is which cube now. I need to put like signs on the front of them, uh, but I'm after my farming cube, which is actually this cube. You have the hemp fiber and actually that needs upgrading so as to not block up the system but we'll come back to that chat we'll come back to that for now up here not the ladder isaac don't use the ladder i need like a, a buzzer that <laughs> buzzes every time i use the ladder like stop isaac the, the no <laughs> bad isaac here we go we're gonna make a bunch of porcelain clay and then we're gonna make a bunch of these uh these catalysts or these bindings even Nice. Okay. Just so we don't have to keep crafting them like individually every time that we want, um, you know, a new circuit board. Okay. So that should be at least one of these good to go. It is indeed. Um, almost. Uh, then we do also, of course, have to have potentially another tunnel. Uh, oh, no, we don't. We already have one. Never mind. Because now, inside of here, what we can do, chat, is we can have this detector go. Let me. Hmm. Hmm, this is an interesting predicament that I find myself in. Um, I think we can move this guy, the charger, over to here. And that's still going to work just fine, right? Because I want to put my detector here. That's going to connect up. And then we're going to have a single piece of redstone right about there, right? So what we're going to do, chat, is we are going to head back and grab an ender pearl. And inside of the detector, we are going to specify that you should output a redstone signal when you have more than. So the mode right now is it, it's on, it's either under, the same as, or over. So you can you can have a redstone signal emitted when you have, for example, less than so much, so many enderpearls, or more than so many, or zero whatsoever. We are going to emit a redstone signal when we have more than sixty-four enderpearls, right? So right now, no redstone signal emitted. If we change this to like ten. It's still not emitted because right now our enderpearls are not in the system. But uh, ideally, if we go ahead and take all those out and put them in the system, and also just to uh, fix that issue, what I'm going to do, chat, is I'm going to uh, get rid of this cache. I'm going to put a chest here. And then I think we'll just have an import bus on this to, uh, to pull all those enderpearls directly into the system. We could have just put an external storage bus, of course, onto the... Uh, onto the cache, but the external storage bus requires diamonds, and as you'll have just known, um, like, as you'll know if you've been watching the series, the diamond nuggets are a little hard to come by. So instead, what we're going to do, importer, like so, and kapow. So now any enderpearls that are made should be put in the system, and if we head on back through, not to the bedrock area, Isaac, but instead uh, directly into here, we should see a redstone signal. We do, because we have more than 10 enderpearls. So, chat, the idea is that... We need to recode Nick. So let me turn him on. Let's go, well, first of all, let's go grab the OS disk, shall we? Then we'll turn him on. Right now, he's going to show an error. That's fine. Okay. Once he's on, we're going to install the old, uh, the old OS. All right. So I have done a little bit of tweaking to my code chat between streams. So now it's a little bit, I don't know if better is the right word, but I think it's better. So, 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 let's copy this over. Uh, actually, first things first, before I do that, let's test the redstone functionality, right? So if we do say edit uh, test red for test redstone, and we copy in some, you know, preliminary stuff, 
that has to be at the top there. Don't worry about that, chat. That just needs to be there for the software to work. Uh, then let's do if. Let's do this. So if component redstone get input sides.back. Again, don't ask me. I didn't make the language, but this is the, the command we use. Um, I think dot back works. So this is the back of him. So if the redstone signal at the back is greater, or sorry, less than one, then print bracket. Uh, there is no redstone. Like that. Yes. And then we'll do else. So if there is, if it's greater than one, print, hey, there is redstone. Good job. I think we didn't end. So let me test that. So test red. Is that what I called it? There is no redstone. Look at that. He's a genius. Okay. If we change this to 10 and we do it again, test red. Hey, there is red. Okay. Look at that. It works, chat. Beautiful. So now the robot is capable of detecting whether or not there is redstone behind it. That's like kind of the initial thing we had to figure out. Now let's edit ender pearl. So this is the uh, the software we're going to run to actually build the ender pearls. And uh, as luck would have it, once again, I have the code ready to go. So this time around, what I've done is I have set things up in such a way that if it's essentially the same code, but it's, now it's all contained within an if statement. So ignore the, the top stuff. This just needs to be here for the, the robot to work. We have the loop equals one. Repeat if there is redstone on the back, or if the redstone on the back is less than one. So basically, if there is no redstone signal, which if you remember, means that we have more than 64 ender pearls. So if we have more than 64 ender pearls in our system, this is going to be true. Uh, this is going to be, yeah, if we have less than 64 ender pearls, this will be true. And then it will print, oh, fine, I'll make you an ender pearl and then begin making the ender pearl. Um, if we have more than 64 ender pearls in the system, then at that point in time, the redstone signal will turn on. And so what will happen is it'll trigger the else, which is all the way down here, at which point it will say, I refuse to work. You have enough ender pearls already. And then it will sleep for five seconds and then loop. So what it's going to do, it's going to test. Do we have enough ender pearls? If we do, it's going to stop and say, I'm not going to work anymore. If it doesn't, it's going to make an ender pearl, ideally. So let's test it right now. I'll go save and exit. If we save and exit right now, it should refuse to work. So ender pearl. I refuse to work. You have enough ender pearls, you jerk. Okay, that sounds like Nick. That sounds like a thing he'd say. So, and you'll see every five seconds, it's starting again, and it's refusing to work because we have enough ender pearls, right? If we change this to 64, what should happen is Nick 2 should get to work making us an ender pearl, right? And he should continue to make as many ender pearls as it needs until we get to 64. Once we have to 64, he's going to tell us that he's done and he's not going to make any more ender pearls and, uh, and that we should call it a day, right? And I think this is going to, this is working. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. So. Okay. 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 No. 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 All right. No. 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 I need you, my friend. Please. Please. Thank you. Okay. Slight problem in that uh, there needs to be a bit more space over here for Nick. Now, one thing I did learn uh, between streams is that you don't have to go up to drop the redstone. You can instead go back. So, for example, if the robot is here where I am and it drops the redstone, it should work just fine. Uh, so, for now, I'll just delete the hole in the roof so you can get about. But we could change the code a bit in, in the future. Uh, so, once again, let's put him this way we can't change his orientation there we go and you'll see there he's saying fine i'll make you an ender pearl uh, but i think we're good to go i think the system should be fine i think now if we just run the ender pearl program uh, he should make his ender pearls when we need them and stop making ender pearls when we don't need them i believe now next up is the other machine right so we have these new miniaturization fields so once again we're going to put these in basically the exact same position as before, but this time on the new level, I'll move that one in a second chat. Can I? Like that. Okay, nice. Um, these might need to be one block higher. Can I put these one block higher? I can. Okay, cool. That does work. All right. Good, good, good. So you'll see Nick there. He got back. Yeah, he's doing his thing. He's building. Oh, no, he didn't get back. Gosh dang it. <laughs> Nick, stop. Please. No, I need you to stand still, my friend. 
It's like trying to swat a fly. And when you do finally swat it, it keeps going. There we go. Okay. Uh, did you get, did you, oh, I guess maybe you ran into a problem there. Again, we should, we should tweak the code, um, to make him less of an idiot. Where does he finish? He finishes, oh, he finishes really high up, doesn't he? You know what? We'll look at the code later. For now, let me just see if this works again. Restart. But, uh, anyway, let's, uh, let's head up. So let's go get our second robot, which, uh, should be hiding away in here. It is indeed. Uh, we need a name chat for our second robot. What should we call robot two? We also need another detector because we're going to do the same thing with the machine wall that we've just done with ender pearls, right? We might hold a little bit more machine wall than we did ender pearls, but in general, the idea is going to be pretty much the same. Isaac? Boris? For sure, Isaac? I mean, we can call it Isaac. I'm not going to lie, chat. I've already written the code for the for the next robot, including his, uh, his speech. So, uh... We'll see if it aligns. We'll see if it lines up. All right. All right. That is good. That gets us another detector. Beautiful. Um, is there anything else we need? I don't think so. Uh, we probably need some cable, actually. Right. So robot number two needs another export bus, actually, because we need to export iron blocks over and of course we need another diamond nugget chat of course we do oh gosh dang it okay i'll come back to that in a second for now though what i'm gonna do i'm gonna i'm gonna manually put some uh, iron blocks into that uh into that strong box just to see if the uh, the software works and then we can we can work on the you know the back end a little later so let's pop in let's uh, head up we should probably get like a an elevator in here as well somewhere so i'd have to use these ladders but for now here we go we're gonna have, oop, there we go. We're gonna have the robot sits right about here. We do need to run some power up to this as well, actually. Make sure that's turned on. Uh, for now, he does have some preliminary power. And actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and put the OS in, turn this on, begin the install. And while we're doing the install, we'll go and get some uh, leadstone or hardened flux stuck so we can run power over to this guy. All right. <laughs> While he copies over all his files and does all of his, you know, hard drive array caching or whatever it is that robots do, uh, let's come back here and let's see if we have any flux ducts. Of course, we don't. That'd be too easy. Let's craft up some more. And I will make them hardened because why not? We've got the, uh, the envar for it. And then I think, try not to get in Nick's way here. I think I'm just going to run this up the wall. Again, we want to make sure we don't put anything in Nick's way, otherwise he will uh, he will stop working, which is not what we're after. There we go. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Clamps here is, uh, is, is is hanging out. He's doing his thing. All right. I'm hoping that if I rename the robot, I don't have to reinstall the operating system. I'm actually not sure how that works. I would assume I don't have to. But uh, let's go. Rename this guy real quick. So, uh, throw you in there. This is Isaac. Beautiful. So, essentially, chat, the plan here is to put this guy like that. Uh, yeah, that's fine. This guy does want to be facing the, uh, the charging station. I guess it's just the way I've written it. So, let's go edit. Uh, we'll call it machine wall. And then here in my notepad document uh, is my code, which is like this. So again, it's the exact same system up here. We have uh, all the preliminary stuff that makes the robot work. We have a repeat if statement. So if the redstone signal, uh, this is set to side right, which in this case is this side right here. On a, uh, yeah, for him, it's this side here. So uh, we would have to have something like our detector, maybe right here, and then a piece of redstone right there. Uh, we can make that work. We can run some uh, cabling up to this, which, uh, you know what, let's do that now before I forget. So the cabling's gonna go up to there. Uh, we should grab one more piece of redstone, but again, that's not a problem. We've got a full chest of it downstairs. Again, try not to get in Nick's way where possible. So I need one redstone. Uh, we'll take 32, that's fine. We will run this across and up. We are gonna put an export bus here eventually, but for now we'll just do that.
And this one is going to output a redstone signal over here like that. Can I like drag things? No, I can't. I was hoping I could maybe like drag things from here into there. So we are going to have to go and grab a machine wall. And I think for now, we'll do the same that we've done with the ender pulse. We'll do a stack. So if we have more than a stack of machine wall, output a redstone signal. So if the component on the red, uh, on the right side, which on this in this case is this side of him, if the redstone signal on the right is greater than one, then go down. He's going to head down. He's going to suck up uh, two redstone. So he's going to, that's because he's going to go down and be facing that chest there, which has the redstone in it. He's then going to turn around, select slot number two, suck one. That's going to be put him pulling a block of iron from that strong box right there and putting it in slot two. He's then going to come back up. And then he's going to go and, you know, build the, uh, he's going to build it, I think, right here on the edge, because this obviously takes up a lot less space than uh, the previous system for the enderpearls. Uh, and then he's going to put down the block of iron, uh, put down the block of redstone, uh, move back, throw the redstone at the structure, and then head back to the dock and sleep. Um, if we already have enough, he's going to say sorry, uh, but it looks like, let's have a look, what did I type here? He's going to say sorry, but it looks like we already have too much machine wall. What a polite robot. All right, let's try it. Does it work? So he heads down, picks up the uh, the stuff that he needs. He builds it incorrectly. Oh no, oh, yeah, okay, mm, Isaac. Isaac, I had so much faith. Isaac, I had so much faith, and you've 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 fumbled it <laughs> right at the start. First things first, there needs to be iron in there. Death more Isaac sounding. <laughs> um, have I have I bumbled this? Um, one, how many? Hold on, how many blocks down do we have to go? So he starts up there. He has one, two, three, four, five blocks down that he has to go. Let me check his code. Uh, so edit machine wall. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's right. Let me let me run him again. Let me see where he goes wrong. I think that he, his problem is when he comes back up, right? So he goes down, he sucks up two, that's right. He turns around, he selects it, he sucks it up, he turns right. He then goes up by five. So him turning right is him turning to face this way. He then goes up by five, which should put him back exactly where he is. He's then going to go forward, turn right, go forward, turn left. Yeah, that's right. Place it up. I think this, this looks right. But of course it didn't work. So let's see. We can also, so you got the stuff. That's correct. Might have worked. No. Oh, I know the problem, chat. I know at least one of the problems. One of the problems is that he can't place an iron block on a half slab. That could be a problem. Uh, the second problem is that he doesn't seem to get back to his starting location well. So, forward, turn right, forward, turn left, place, up, select one, place, as he's putting the redstone down. Then he's got back up, so now he should be back above the charger. Oh, he can't because there's a lever here, chat. Hold on. We're piecing the we're piecing it together. All right, maybe now it will work. Let's give it a try. So he goes. He gets his resources. He puts down the block. Look at that. He's done it. Oh, <laughs> beautiful. And then he waits, and then he does it again. Now I think, in the interest of easiness, I'm gonna shift right click on our accumulator and whitelist machine wall as well. So now this should collect uh, both the ender pearls and the machine wall. You bumbled that, my friend. I don't know why you bumbled that. But you messed something up there. Oh, it's because we're out of iron blocks. Turn turn off. Turn off. Stop. <laughs> he failed there because we actually don't have iron blocks being exported, right? But the system itself does work. Okay, that's good to know. So, now, chat, we just have to go and get more coal dust, right? We have to get more diamond nuggets. So, let's take... I think basically all of our coal coke. Like, there's no reason to, to beat around the bush here, right? We can just go and... First of all, lock that. But just make as much or as many diamond nuggets as we can. All right, our hop graphite dust should be done. It is indeed. Good stuff. 
So uh, let's go blow this up. We've got, uh, what, 74? No, two. <laughs> I can count. We've got 72. Hop graphite. Let's go blow it up, shall we? Who guessed 17? Oh my goodness. What in the world? 17. That's madness. Last time we put in half a stack and we got two. This time we put in just over a stack and we got 17. Jeez. That is very nice. All right. That's very nice indeed. So we need another Xbox bus here. Let's go ahead and craft up another one of these, shall we? So now, chat, all we have to do is uh, iron block. Like so. We do also have to teach our system, of course, how to craft iron blocks. And uh, we are, of course, going to run into the issue of the fact that we're not currently, like, automated. Like, iron is not automated right now for our system, right? So we can export iron blocks. Uh, we are going to need a crafting card on there and potentially even a speed card um, as well, although maybe crafting is fine on its own. Um, we are going to need a crafting card for that, but... The um, yeah, we're not we're not currently making this right. Yeah, crafting upgrade. We're not currently actually making iron, right? We're making iron dust, but the iron is not currently actually being smelted. So we are going to have to rectify that if we want the system to work. Because right now it's just going to take the thirty-seven iron that we have in our system. Uh, we should actually very quickly uh, craft up a pattern and then uh, teach it how to make. A block of iron. And then whack that in there. Beautiful. And then, of course, over in here, let's go and put the crafting card into there. At which point, it's doing its thing. Uh, much like... Oh, uh, so much redstone. Uh, it's doing its thing, but you'll see it stopped because we don't have iron being automatically made. So, chat, we need to automate iron smelting. Now, that really shouldn't be too difficult to do, I don't think. Uh, Isaac, make a wireless crafting grid. Yes. Okay. I will do. I will make a wireless crafting grid. Before we do the uh, iron smelting, I'm being told by the Twitch chat that I can make wireless crafting grids fairly easily. So, and by that I mean, I'm being told by the, the Twitch chat that wireless crafting grids do work across all of my uh, all of my subdimensions. So, we'll get a wireless transmitter, and then the wireless crafting grid. Is this guy? Yeah, I can't make the creative one, unfortunately. Uh, this doesn't seem too bad. Crafting grid, some more blank patterns, some more glass. All right, I think that is pretty much everything. So grid, turn that into a crafting grid, turn that into a wireless crafting grid with yet another one of these. It's a good thing we got all of those uh, diamond nuggets because boy, do we need them. And boom, nice. Now, we don't currently have a way to charge this, unfortunately, so we are going to have to make, I think, uh, quite likely, um, either a wireless charger if we have one, which I don't think we do. Uh, but I think what's more likely is the... Energizer? What's the machine called, chat? From... Uh, thermal Expansion. Energetic Infuser. That's the one. That's the one, chat. The energetic infuser. This will allow us to charge up our device. We can also, if we wanted to, make the um, flux linkage concentrator, which will allow us to rapidly charge our device. Does require some, uh, some plates that we don't have, but... They really shouldn't be too difficult, I don't think, if we make them with the hammer. We don't have a hammer? No, we totally do have a hammer. It just doesn't like to uh, shift flick in when it doesn't have all of the durability. That's fine. So for now, chat, we'll put this down, I think, right about here. Uh, we do need a hardened upgrade kit if we are going to uh, add an augment to that. Boom. So this, uh, by default, will charge our item. It's actually not that slow, but then this makes it super fast. Nice. I mean, it didn't. we probably didn't need the augment because this doesn't hold that much redstone flux, but uh, we can now access uh, if we throw down our transmitter, which can I put it like here? No, does it have to go onto a, uh, a cable? 
It does. So, controller not found. I think we have to right click on the controller, presumably. Hey, and there we go. Now we can access our system while we're out and about. The question though, is can we access our stuff whilst we are in other dimensions? And the answer is yes. Nice. So it looks like I assume the mod pack uh, creator has tweaked the wireless transmitter here to make the range ridiculously large. So basically, no matter where you are uh, in the world, unless you're 2.1 you know, billion blocks um, away from your transmitter, you're going to be able to access your, uh, your refined storage system, which is real nice. So now, no matter where we are, we can access all of our stuff without having to come back, which is super nice. You know, no matter what dimension we're in, this is going to be real nice. Why didn't you make this before, Isaac? Jeez, I know, right? <laughs> I was going to make it before, but then the Twitch chat said, hey, Isaac, your blocks are actually thousands of blocks away from each other, and that's never going to work, you dingus. And then other, another member of chat came in and was like, Isaac, that's never mind. Those old people, they were wrong. You can indeed make a crafting grid and use it anywhere. Oh, I love it. So now, chat, I'm thinking, what? how do I want to do this? How do I want to automate iron is a good question um i'm thinking because if we're going to automate modularium which we are going to have to do if we want to be able to automate the creation of let's say nine by nine compact machines we have to automate the making of machine casing and to do that we have to automate modularium which means we do need some of our iron in grit form right so what i'm thinking chat is i might do something similar to what i've just done with the ender pearls and the machine wall in that i might make a redstone furnace that is the only actually smelts iron if we don't already have a certain amount of iron in the system right so we could set it up so that once we have let's say 512 iron in the system like inside of the actual uh, discs here then it will stop smelting more grit it'll just turn off until we have less than that and it'll start going again i think that makes sense and i think it maybe makes sense to do that for all of our ingots potentially uh, not all of them, I guess. Like some of them we don't need in grit form, like copper. But uh, for some other stuff, it could it could definitely make sense. So let's see. Redstone furnace. Let's make one of these. As always, should not hopefully be too difficult, he says, as he fails to craft a single part of the recipe. Let's see. Copper gears. Reception coil. Tin gears. Zero iron ingots whatsoever. Because they're all instantly being turned into uh, into blocks. And boom! Nice. We'll make another det the detector. Again, <laughs> no iron. We need another one of these. And that should be it, chat. Uh, you have iron being made in the pick room. You can get half pumped out of there. That is to that is very true. But again, if I did that, um, if I pumped it out of there, that room is not big enough to put like a, a detector in. Um, if I pumped it out of there, then all of my iron dust would get smelted. Right, like all of this iron grit. I mean, I guess... Yeah, because we're requesting iron grit here, basically what would happen is this would just be emptied out of iron grit, which means in the future we wouldn't um, we wouldn't be able to autocraft with iron grit because we wouldn't have any. And so instead, what I think I'm going to do, chat, is I'm going to put a redstone furnace down. Now, it doesn't really matter too much where we put this, I don't think. So basically just anywhere that has power. Hmm. I do also want it kind of close to um to maybe this pipe here so we can put another uh, like request for iron grit on. You know what, chat? I don't need the ladders, right? You've been telling me time and time again to get rid of the ladders. One way, if we get rid of the ladders, then we can actually start to use this corner, right? Right now this corner is, is not being used. So you get rid of the ladders, like so. And at that point, it doesn't become a problem if you start building stuff over here because we don't need to go over there anywhere. Anyway, so... Let's do like this. That already has it next to here, so we can just put this detector down like that, I guess. And then we'll say, if you have 
Gosh, we'd, oh, we'd, <laughs> we'd have any iron, Chet. <laughs> we'd have any iron. If you smelt some iron, and then down here, we'll say, if we have more than 512 iron, then you will stop. So you are control status high. Is that right? Or is that the other way around? Do I need to swap this tub below? How do the uh, the redstone furnaces work? Does the redstone furnace get turned on when it has a redstone signal? I think that's how that works, right? The opposite? Yeah, okay. So instead, we're going to say when we're below 512, this is on. So now, if we get some iron grit, and we will ultimate this, of course, but I put that in there. This is working. If I toggle that to above, it stops working. Okay, perfect. So yeah, we want that below 512. That's going to smell iron. We are, of course, going to upgrade this to make it faster, uh, but let's also go ahead and grab some item ducts. Let's also grab a retriever if we have one, and we do. Good stuff. Uh, whilst we're here, we might as well make those upgrade kits. We'll start with hardened, of course, and then work our way up to the reinforced. And we should probably also make the speed augment. Not that we need it to be super fast, honestly, but why not? And you might be thinking, Isaac, you fool, why are you not using that wireless terminal that you have? <laughs> I do see a chat in the a comment in the chat. Uh, makes crafting grid and never uses it. But you know, you know, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a creature of habit, chat. You know, it takes me a while, all right, to get to get to where I need to go. And then we'll just uh, turn off all the uh, sides. Actually, no. Well, first of all, what we'll do is we will. Gosh, it's so janky, chat. So janky. I think we can actually just connect here and then here, right? Make the top of that an input and then retrieve grit, whitelist, grit, enable, because now it can actually pull that from over here. I think that should work. Maybe. Oh, it is working. Nice. Okay, it took a little time. The, 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 the items take a while to get there, but they, they do get there. Okay, perfect. That's fine. So then we need to just set a uh, an output. We'll set the bottom to output, I think, and we'll just put uh, an import bus on the bottom of that. I think, Chad, that we are onto something. That needs rotating, of course. Beautiful. And there we go. Let's go pull all the iron in. The iron's been smelted. It's getting imported. More iron should be, being, should be on its way. We could probably do with maybe like investing in faster pipes if we're going to do it like this. Um, you know, in an ideal world, we'd have a storage bus here and then an export bus here to make it a lot faster. Um, but right now, and I guess we could do that now we have more diamond nuggets. So we might do that in the, in the near future. But for now, I think this does work just fine. Um, and this is requesting, if we look at the uh, hardened, I assume it's 16. Yeah, so the max sack size is six. Uh, max, sack, max sack size is 16 for the hardened retriever. So it's going to pull 16 at a time. Uh, when you know when we when this number goes up, it's gonna go up up by sixteen at a time. Uh, but that's working just fine. So as of right now, our iron, of course, is going to be like depleting as fast as it's coming in, because right now all of our iron is being used to craft up iron blocks, which are going in here. And I think in the interest of not using all of our iron on that, I will do this so that it only fills up this first stack here, and that should be a okay. We are also making iron blocks now faster then we would use them. So I think it is safe to come and turn this on. We turn Isaac on, and that should uh, that should work just fine. He's got like a built-in wait timer anyway. There we go, beautiful. So he's gonna start using those iron blocks. But I believe he's using them, you know, slower than they're coming in. And of course, once we get to more than 64 machine wall, he's gonna stop anyway, right? Like, I don't know how much machine wall we have right now. I guess we can check in the... Uh, we're not going to check in the system. Or at least we're going to check in the system upstairs. We're going to use our wireless crafting grid chat. Look at that. We're almost there. So that's that's 64. And thus now, if we go back, we should see uh, Isaac Bot very politely letting us know that we already have too much wall. Sorry, but it looks like we already have too much machine wall. Look at that. He's such a nice fella, isn't he? Such a nice fella. Beautiful. All right. All right. You know what, chat? He actually, hold on. He's not quite complete. You could make impulse pipes, but the glowstone is scary. Yeah, we could do it. That, that's kind of what I was thinking, but I think it's probably better just to use import and export buses at that point, right? Edit. 
machine wall. Isaac needs to uh, say something when he opens, when he begins his task. So if there is redstone, then he needs to say, print. What would Isaac say when, uh, when, when going to, to, to make something? All right. Let's make some machine wall. <laughs> That's what I'd say, right? Dot, dot, dot. Nice. All right, let's go make some machine wall, shall we? Shall we? Let's put a shall we in there. Shall we? And then when he's done it, nice. I should have had the nice. You know what? Hold on. I've got to, I've got to tweak this. <laughs> shall we? Question mark. And then once he's done it, then he can say nice. We're never going to see this. It's just for the robot. But here we go. Right at the bottom. He's going to drop... Once he drops it, then he's going to print. Nice. There we go. <laughs> you forgot to write chat? Let's do it. So, all right, let's make some machine wall. Hold on. Shall we? Let's make some machi machine wall, shall we, chat? Question mark. All right, save, W, and then machine wall now he's not going to make any right now he's gonna say sorry but there's too much yada 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 uh, if we change this to like 70 we have 70 75 oh yeah you make them in stacks of let's make 80 we have 80 there we go 100 all right let's not make wrong <laughs> let's make some machine wall shall we and then he says he says nice before it's done which is less than ideal but you know what i think it's fine Change it back to 64 for now. Let's change. Let's let's quickly fix the typo. Okay, okay, okay. I think, chat, that, that is, uh, that's good. I think that's working. So we now have automated uh, machine wall. Beautiful. Uh, 112. That's fine. And we also have automated ender pills. So we've got 67. And we also have uh, automated iron as well. Um, it looks like we're finally at the point where we're actually gaining iron. That means that uh, in here we have a full stack of, uh, of iron blocks. We do indeed. Beautiful. And uh, again, as soon as those start getting used, more should be being smelted, and uh, everything should be good to go. Let's go ahead and fill in that uh, hole in the floor real quick. Like that. And there we go. So, in the next stream chat, I guess we... Um, I do want to look into automating, like, a lot of this. I think I want to move these caches probably into their own, like, compact machine somewhere. You know, get them out of the way. They take up a lot of space in here that we don't need them to be taking up. Uh, so, I think we'll move those, and then we will also look at automating the actual crafting of this which again shouldn't be too easy it's just we make another nine by nine and we copy and paste the code over that we're currently using for the ender pearl but change the exported items so that should be easy enough uh, and then we can also auto craft this and then i think next stream chat we should be able to make our first uh, 11 by 11 by 11 uh, compact machine